like many of us, the pandemic brought additional changes to their lives, primarily a change in terminology since they weren't planning originally on a marathon length engagement. Eventually, calling Tommy her fiance wouldn't do, and he became Jesse's husband elect. <laughs> they delved deeper into their hobbies and found more interesting things to do together. They started seriously thinking about what life would look like when they could finally have this wedding. Jesse, I love you so much. To be standing up here with you today has been something that I've been dreaming of for years now. Ever since I met you, I imagined growing old with you. Imagining a life together with a flock of cats, a, a horde of pygmy goats, our 12 children, and the farm. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, I am so incredibly grateful to have you in my life and your encouragement and support for all my crazy ideas or spur of the moment purchases means more than you can know. Jesse, from this point, we are truly one, and I vow to remember that in all decisions. I vow to always love you, cherish you, and adore you. I vow to split my love equally between you, Babu, and Darla, and maybe Drax, too. <laughs> I promise to share my whole life with you. Now, I know it can be difficult from time to time, and I promise to keep that to just a few times per week. <laughs> Jesse, please know that you are my love, you are my life, and you are my forever. Tommy, after the last six years, looking back on our story makes me feel like we haven't changed as individuals one bit. I struggle to put together words to explain who we once were and who we've become since becoming a couple. I'm still the same driven person who procrastinates to no end, even on these vows, sorry. <laughs> and you're still diving headfirst into the next YouTube research hobby you find, leaving the rest of us to catch up. It's something about our relationship that I know we both cherish. We allow each other the space to grow as we desire while cultivating this life we share as one. And yet, I know we are not the same people we were all those years ago in that basement bar. I know that we have learned and grown while challenging each other to better ourselves in the process. I know that I wouldn't be who I am without the influence you've had on my life. You've built up my confidence, given me a sense of permission to take up more space in this world, and lessen the fear to speak up for myself. And my favorite yet is your endless encouragement to try everything possible and your belief in me to succeed in it all. And here you stand, certainly changed from when we first met. I've seen you expand in your sense of empathy to be there for me, urging me to experience my feelings and comfort me when I need it most. Your desire to travel, see, and do things together has increased and is evident in your willingness to go on any trip I throw in front of you. I've watched you take on more business ventures, finding continued support in your efforts and your sense of confidence build with each new take. I love that looking back doesn't make me feel as if we've changed drastically to fit into each other's lives. And I love that looking forward feels as if we have limitless possibilities and opportunities together. I'm not always the best at picturing my future or describing where I want to be in it. But with you by my side, I can't wait to see what it can be. I cannot promise that I'll always be the perfect partner, but I can promise that I will do my best and put in the effort to be the person you deserve to have by your side. And so again, whatever the future may hold for us, I know it will be good, for it will be a future with you as your wife, because with you, I know I am safe, I know I am loved, and I am home. Because with you, I am whole. I love you. Jesse and Tommy, you can finally stop using the term fiancé and call one another your husband and wife. I hope that you always find the little joys in life 
especially through one another's interests. I hope we take plenty more vacations and find occasions to drink wine. And I hope with each day that you grow older, you grow closer together. And with this, I pronounce you married. You may go ahead and kiss. As you embark on this great adventure called marriage, it's worth bearing in mind that neither of you will ever be perfect, but you can be perfect together. Let your love be stronger than your anger and learn to compromise. It's so much better to bend than to break. Now everyone, please raise your glasses as we toast to the newly married couple, Jesse and Tommy. Here's to the future and all it holds for you. Congratulations. These two are a lot of fun, but they also know when it's important to be serious. I never met a couple that respects each other the way that Tommy and Jesse respect one another. Even when they disagree and they don't always see eye to eye, they're always there for one another. Tommy, thank you for being such a warm and inviting soul. You have a way of making everyone in the room feel valued, and I'm so happy that Jesse is marrying a man like you. I wish you both nothing but pure bliss as a married couple, and I'm so excited for Drax and Babu to finally have married humans. <laughs> I would like everyone to raise their glass once again and toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Untied. Congratulations. Cheers.